hey guys welcome back to another video i am sapphire and it's my wash day and it's time for the takedown so i'm taking out my hair which has been up for approximately one week normally when i wear my buns they do last for an entire week i do check on them to see if they need moisturized or not um <clears throat> Some weeks I don't, some I do. So each week is different. So the shampoo that I'm using on today is my Shea Moisture's Raw Butter Retention Shampoo. I love that shampoo because it glides on very smooth and silky and it leaves your hair amazingly clean and it smells amazing. I love the way it smells. It reminds me of a summer breeze. Really does. Really, really does. So I'm going to be doing this for a little bit. And then I'm going to pair up with the deep conditioner. And then I'll just put that throughout my hair. So you guys already see me do this, right? So many, 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 many times. So a lot of you have asked me my routine. I will be coming back maybe sometime next week to let you guys know what I am doing differently, my routine, the products, how I use them. All of that, okay, all of that. You see how that comb is gliding through my hair? My hair is amazingly soft and I love it. It is so soft, so soft, tangle free. Who can say that? <laughs> so if you guys are familiar with this product, then you guys already know what I'm talking about. I love the shampoo and the deep conditioner itself. I don't think they have a leave-in. They have something else, but I don't, I think it's a, like a detangler. Maybe that is like a leave-in slash detangler or a detangler slash leave-in, whatever. But I don't use that. A couple of you guys have already asked me that already. All I use is the shampoo, the conditioner, and also the deep conditioner. Most times I use the, the conditioner in the summer, but I have not used it this year but i know i used it last year and year before that but this year for some reason i didn't pick it up but it's okay it's okay when i first started deep conditioning my hair i used to just think that you need like a gob of, of deep conditioner on one section because it will work better that's not true like I said, I'm just changing a lot of things and routines and just been doing some reading and, you know, researches on conditioners, shampoos, uh, washing your hair, deep conditioning, all of that and how you use your products. So I'm just changing some things. And I know a lot of you are waiting on that. Like I said, I will be back sometime next week. I am 19 weeks post in this video. I'm all done now, as you can see. And as you can see, you don't need a gob of deep conditioner whenever you're putting it out through through your hair. Um, I won't say a little go a long way, but enough will go a long way. Okay, enough will go a long way. So I'm done sitting under the dryer. I sit up under my dryer for approximately 30 minutes with heat. Once I'm done, then I rinse out. So I just got under, got from under the dryer and I'm just showing you the aftermath of it. You see the shine that I get, that natural shine. You see that? And you don't see any residue or anything in my hair. Everything has absorbed in very nicely. <laughs> okay, all done. So this is gonna take a minute. OK, now in throughout the comments, I was looking at some of the comments and also my emails. Some of you guys have told me that you wash your hair maybe three, four times within months, like three, four months. I don't think that you should be washing your hair. You shouldn't wait a long period of time to wash your hair in order to have a healthy scalp and healthy hair so it can grow as long as it will get you need to wash a little more often whether you wash every two weeks or once a month some people wash once a week i remember i used to wash once a week and my hair would you know over time 
maybe after a year or so or close to a year, my ends start to get dry. And that was be that that was because of washing too often. It's always good to take care of your scalp. OK, that's where our hair comes from. And if you think that the longer wait because you're because of the dirt, I remember people were telling me that dirt makes your hair grow. <laughs> I I just I just can't grasp that. I, I really can't grasp that. Um, if anything, your scalp and your hair would be very unhealthy. So it's not good to wait a long period of time to wash your hair. So rethink it. Do your research, okay, on washing your hair. All right? So I'm putting on the leave-in, and which I did warm up. I haven't done this in so long. I used to warm up my cream leave-ins and put it on my hair. It gives it such a softer texture. And it also gives it a natural shine. I like it. And this is what I'm doing. I just put it in my cap of my deep conditioner. And I'm just putting it throughout my hair. So how many of you warm up your leave-in conditioner, your cream? Leave me some comments down here below. Okay? So I'm going to be doing this for a little while. All right? Um... I'm going to stretch as long as I can. Um, I, like I said in another video, if I can't stretch as long, then I probably will just get my relaxer before Thanksgiving. But I'm trying to stretch until that first Saturday in December because that's normally when I get my relaxers. Always that first Saturday after 18 weeks, it's always that first Saturday or maybe the second Saturday. The longest I've ever stretched was 19 weeks and that's because I had to wait on my daughter because she had to work. But in essence, everything turned out fine. I just kept up with my moisture balance and um, keeping my scalp clean and my hair, which was just another week, but everything turned out fine. You see how my hair is? I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I am really loving it. So I'm going to let this dry. Take a while to dry, but I'm going to let this dry and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back and I'm done with everything. I'm just waiting on my hair to dry. It takes my hair a very long time to dry, which I don't mind because I set this day aside to um, spend some time with my hair to do what I have to do. And it does take literally all day. So my hair should be dry maybe around 8, 830 when I started, it was about 15 after 4, and it's 6 o'clock right now. So a couple of more hours, then it will be completely dry. Then that's when Sorry, I will Michael. add some grease to my scalp. I've already added grease everywhere else on my hair off camera. I didn't do it on camera. The leave-in, as you heard me when I did the talk over, yes, I did warm up my cream leave-in which i haven't done in so 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 long i don't think i've done that maybe over four years but it feels very good it feels very lovely and it absorbs in my hair strands very well so i think i'll do that method throughout the rest of this year i don't think i have to do that in the summer because the summer my hair it, my hair really it receives it very well in that inclement weather but the winter time it gets dry so I think I will start um, warming up my conditioner so yeah so I am 19 weeks post relaxer okay uh, still damp down here is uh, dry as you can see okay but here from I would say from my lenses all the way my scalp and everything all of that is still a little damp so i will say maybe around 8 8 30 my hair should be completely dry and then i'm going to add my hair grease so yeah so i hope and pray that you guys enjoyed this video i'm just going to sit back and relax and uh, um yeah just enjoy myself and lord's will you will see me in the next video thank you guys so much for welcoming me into your homes um once again i, I do truly hope that you enjoy my videos and you will see me in the next one okay thank you ever so kindly enjoy your evening god bless you Mwah. good night bye